On May 5, 2017, more than 150 people met for a Four Directions walk, for prayer, for a meal, talking, and for healing on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. Participants prayed and served water for healing to 32 mourners, families of those that had a loved one go missing or murdered. Jingle dress dancers danced for the people for healing. Family members spoke about their loss, their experiences, and the need for healing. Following the National Resolution for a Day of Awareness for Missing and Murdered Native Women and Girls, a tribal proclamation was set forth by the tribal president, naming the day a day of awareness and to do awareness every year on this day. Hello everyone and good day. Uh, my name is Santana Youngman, Afraid of His Horses. Uh, my Lakota name is when she speaks, they listen. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming and showing their support. And um, a few words that I would like to say is that um, I believe that we all need to watch watch each other as a nation as a nation because not there's the outside world isn't gonna what I've noticed is they don't really care for us. So we need to stand strong as our people because we're a big nation and we have a big heart and we all carry for each other. And I believe that if we watch out each out for each other, that we'll be there to help each other. And um I just like to show my support to the family and um these royalty are selected to represent the people, and we really appreciate them for being here. While we're waiting for the drum group to arrive, I invite anybody who has any words of encouragement maybe words of comfort, words of support that they could share for our mourners here. I would just like to say that I love my niece and everybody else is here and it's sad. But it's, it's joyous for us to walk. We knew that water is first medicine for all of us. And you hear it. From the doctors, they tell you to drink water, to heal your body. So we are going to present the mourners with water. While they were in Rapid City, they left her. Her friends left her. So she was going around looking for a ride to come back to Pine Ridge. And this truck driver pulled up. He said, I can help you. Get in. So she crawls into the truck and he grabs her and he handcuffs her to the seat. She told her grandmother she started screaming and fighting. The truck driver grabbed her by the hair and held on to her. And we thank the Great Spirit today because somehow she was able to slip out of those handcuffs and open the door. She called her grandmother and was on the telephone with her grandmother while she was running down the street, screaming. And a car pulled up and helped her. The truck driver was chasing her. There's another family that told me, in Rapid City, they saw an 11-year-old girl inside of a truck, and they called the police, and they were able to get the young lady. So as we speak today, and as we pray today, we ask, that you all put your minds together and your hearts together as one. Because our women are not safe out there. We need help. 
the help that we can give the families today is by song and by prayer. The drum group has arrived and our jingle dress dancers here are going to pray. Um, that are missing 
on this reservation today. Dates clear back to the time they made this reservation up until today. So I'm going to say uh, a heartfelt appreciation to each and every one of you for your walk and attending here today. Uh, oh, oh, oh. May 5th is, uh, is a day of remembrance across this, uh, across this nation. For, for those of our relatives who have been murdered, who are still missing, um, we, we walk in prayer today. Uh, we ask for healing for our broken hearts. We ask for uh, blessings for our loved ones who were taken from us. I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to come out to join us. Um, I thank the royalty for, for coming here and sharing this day with us. I thank those organizers who, who organize this event uh, every, every year. I know that they struggle to uh, really put forth something for the families. It's a real sensitive um, matter that they handle. And, I ask for blessings for them, for their work that they do, and um, I ask for uh, blessings for, for our tribe, um, that someday we hope that um, these things don't happen. These terrible things do not happen to our families. Um, it is really heartbreaking to go through this. Um, our family member is, uh, was taken from us two years ago, and, and uh, we're still seeking justice. Um, we pray for all those involved, um, whether it was our niece and our, her little unborn son, or whether it was uh, for the person or persons who did that to her. We continue to pray. All of us, uh, you know, lived in a really hard life, and uh, she was uh, taken from us on April 30th, of 2015, and uh, she was just a young, young woman, a young mom. She had two, two sons, and uh, she had a big old teosh by. Uh, she, uh, she was a sun dancer. She, she was just uh, that type of young woman that was uh, very caring and, and uh, any time we got together, she was one of the first ones to come out and see what, what was needed to be done. And a lot of, we still feel her, her absence. Um, we just uh, celebrated the, her passing a few, a few oh, maybe a week ago. And it still uh, really hurts to know that she's no longer going to be here with us. Um, I think we've accepted that her passing, but it's just the way she was taken from us is, is I think, that's what hurts the most. Also, I have relatives here, um, a multi family, and I know that they were also really hurting for, for the way their family member was taken. And um, it is a very uh, hard time. So without further ado, I'd like to just, again, say thank you to all of you. Well, my name is Lisa Longhill. <coughs> I am a mother and a grandmother. I came here today to plead to anyone out there who may know where there is that is. Please reach out to the Rapid City Police Department and let them know where she is. She is a friendly and caring person. She is compassionate toward everyone she meets. She loves her daughter, my granddaughter, Elisa. Larissa is a fantastic mother and she always, she's always working to provide for her daughter. 
Larissa would always light up when she was with Elisa. They would sing one of their favorite songs together, You Are My Sunshine. Elisa is missing her mother every day. I miss my daughter every day. Very hopeful that we will be able to find her. And I hope and pray that somebody finds it in their heart to come to come forward to tell the police where she is. Where we are, Larissa, I hope and pray we will see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. My name is Susanna, and this picture I have here is my little sister. Her name is Sharon. And this past March was 32 years since she was murdered. She moved to Texas, and she was um, abducted, and we didn't know she was missing for like a week. And then we got a call and said that she was murdered. She was killed. And she was only 18. We never really had a chance with her growing up. We never had an experience to see what it was like to have a little sister but after, you know, I just wanted to share this because I just want you people to know that there's hope. There's um, people that don't have closure. I just want you guys to know there's hope because we, we did a lot of praying. And after 20 years and six months, they found her killer. And that was a closure for me and my family. And the sad part was our parents weren't here to hear it. But we got a call and we, we, it was just, it was a really a good time. I when the lady called, the newspaper from Dallas called and she asked how I felt. And so all of, I just told him, you know, I'm gonna go Akisha. And she said, what? And I told her, no, I'm gonna go from you. Call. <laughs> but I just want the people to know that there's, there's hope. Just keep in prayer and there's hope you'll find, you'll have that closure. But I, that's what I wanted to share.